And we were at the 37th chapter and verse number 3. And it reads, And they said unto him, Thus saith Hezekiah, This day is a day of trouble and of rebuke and of blasphemy. For the children are come to the birth, and there is not strength to bring forth. The children are come to the birth, but there is not strength to bring forth. My message tonight is titled simply, Push Zion, Push. Say amen. amen. Now the message here is coming at a time when Hezekiah had been approached by Rabshakeh, amen, and he was coming in from Syria to cause a threat against the people of God. Say amen. amen. And so when the threat came, Hezekiah was a little shaker. Praise God. Message came to him that it's time for the birthing of the children. In other words, the children of Israel are at a stage where they are ready to move into the province of the spirit where God would have them to be. But there's not enough power to push it forward. Say praise God. And so praise God, he said, time for birthing and there's no power to bring it forth. And you can imagine in your mind when a woman is bringing forth a child, she needs to have strength and energy to bring forth that child. Amen. Am I right about it? Amen. Say amen. amen. And she's going to, amen, have to do some pushing. She's going to have to do some straining. She's going to have to travail to get that baby to come forth. Say amen. amen. Somebody said amen. amen. And so God wanted us to know here that it's time for the church to travail to bring forth birth of the children that should be born into the kingdom of God. Say yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And so praise God, he spoke to us again when he went over to Isaiah chapter 26 and verse 16. If you could turn over there now. Isaiah first chapter 26 and verse 16. Mm -hmm. Praise God. And we'll go to verse number 18. Praise the Lord. Talk about push, Zion, push. Praise God. And it reads in verse number 16 of the 26th chapter of Isaiah. Lord, in trouble have they visited thee. They poured out a prayer when thy chastening was upon them. Now sometimes the Lord have to let the church go through hardships. Can I get a witness? Sometimes the church is going to have it really hard and they're going to seem like they're under a strain and a pressure and seem like nothing is there to release the pressure. Can you say amen? amen. And sometimes the church get off track sometimes and God has to chastise the church. Isn't that right? Because yes. whom the Father loves, he will chastise. Yes. And yet, praise God, it's for our good. Isn't that right? Yes. Praise God. Because we go to God and pray and he'll ease up on us if we correct and do the right thing. Somebody said, praise, praise God. So it says here in verse 17, it begins to bring us into our message. It says, like a, as a woman with child. That means the pregnant woman who has a baby in her womb. That draweth near the time of her delivery is in pain and crieth out in her pain. So have we been in thy sight, O Lord. See now, Isaiah is comparing the church's condition at this point to a woman that is pregnant and about to draw near to her time of delivering her baby. Praise God. And he said the time of her delivery is near and she's beginning to get in pain. So now, no one has to ask her, why are you in pain? Is that right? No one has to ask her, why is your stomach hurting? No one has to ask her, why is your bottom part? Why are you feeling so pressed apart? No one has to ask her that. She knows that her time is near. Yeah. It is getting time for her to bring forth that child. And so since she is getting ready to bring forth her child, then she knows that her body is going to go through some painful changes. Isn't that right? So the church has to recognize that as God begins to prepare his, amen, goal of winning many souls in the latter days and birthing many people.
people into the kingdom of God, he's going to have to bring some pain upon the body of Christ because Christ is the father and amen, we are the wife, say amen. amen. Zion is the bride of Christ, say amen. amen. And so through Zion and the church, amen, through the church, amen, we birth the children into the kingdom of God. Praise God, we preach to them the word of God that's the seed that fertilizes the womb. And then after the seed gets to, to fertilize it, then they come forth out of the womb of the church. Somebody say yes, Lord. And so Zion has to push. Somebody has to say push. While they're up in the altar, they have to say, come on, praise God. Somebody has to say, reach out to God. Somebody has to say, seek the Lord. We are telling them to push, push, push. Because we know they're that far from being saved. Jesus said to one, you are not far from salvation. Sometimes people are right there. But you have to encourage them to go further and to push harder. Because if they don't push, they're going to be hanging halfway out of the womb. I saw in a vision that a woman had a baby. And the baby was hanging out of her womb. And the baby was about to die. And the woman got tired of pushing. And the baby was strangling to death. And they said, push, push. And in my vision, the woman said, I'm too tired. Can't push no more. Listen, you can't stop now. Your life is in danger, and the baby's life is in danger. And she just said, I'm sorry. I just can't push no more. And the Lord began to tell me, that is the condition of Zion when there are many souls to be won, and they don't want to pay the price to get them into the kingdom. They're hanging halfway out the womb, saints. They're halfway in the world and halfway in Christ. They're halfway alive and halfway dead. And the only thing that's going to get them to cross the borderline of life and death is the church having to give the strength, come on somebody, to give the power to tell Zion to push. Just pick up some wind and take a deep breath and take a hard strain. Bear down knuckle to knuckle. Bear down shoulder to shoulder and take a full breath to air and push. This baby must be born. I said this baby must be born. We can't let this baby stay hanging out the womb. We can't let this child not come to the kingdom. We have come this far to the kingdom and there's no power to bring forth. There's not enough the people that want to pray hard enough. There's not enough people who want to fast. There's not enough people who want to seek the face of God. We are getting too tied up with the carnal life and we're getting our re forgetting our real purpose for why we are on the earth. We are not on this earth just to satisfy and to enjoy the pleasures of this world. We are down here on a mission. We are pilgrims passing through. We are sent here to bring forth fruit unto righteousness. We have a purpose for being here. We have a reason for being down here on earth. God birthed us into the kingdom that we may strengthen, be strengthened and convert other brethren. God called us to win souls. Come on, say hallelujah. You can't get tired because the road gets rough. You can't get tired because it's been a long journey. You've got to keep on pushing. Say hallelujah. Touch your neighbor. Tell them push, push, push. You can't sit there. You can't hang there. Remember that baby's hanging halfway out. His head is dangling out the womb. He's going to start turning black if you don't get him on out. Oxygen is going to leave him if you don't pull him out. You've got to get this baby into the kingdom. And it's going to take somebody that don't mind paying the price. Somebody say amen. Is Zion going to push? Is Zion going to lay there? Is Zion going to allow this child to be born? God wants Zion to know you've got to push. It may hurt, but you still got to push. It may be painful, but push anyway. Because your life and the life of the baby is at stake. Say amen. This is the condition of things today. So many souls out there on the streets need to be saved. But the church is busy having parties and busy eating dinners and busy doing everything but what we called and put here to do. And that's go on the street, call the streets and win the souls. That's why we got to get back into the spirit of God and pick the burden back up. Let's say amen. amen. Somebody said praise God. He said her pain, she's crying.